we start from the oldest part of the company, where this company start, uh, and we go to see the Tintoria, the dining facility, and the Maglieria, the knitting department. Okay? Hello. Let's go. Every machine is a different technology. In this facility, we can do in one dime 11 different problems. Now, all the machines are controlled by computer. Ten years ago, it was not like this. So the machine remains the same, but we change the technology. And we can die up to five atmosphere, and it's the only machine in the world that can die in polyester. Because they study all the prototypes, so when they have to do the production, for them it's really very, very easy. And it's is even better, because if there is a big problem, three minutes we are here, and we solve the problem. This is not possible if you work uh, in the Orient. Uh, if, you should, if we have a yarn that is a new yarn, and we think a new knot. We can take thing here doing a telino like the one that I showed you before, but in neutral. Then we go there, we do the, the, the dyeing. So in let's say less than two hours, we can see how is the final result. A normal company, the, the time is around two months. So it's a pleasure for design people to work in this company. So here we are at the Chikuti. So Chikuti means the control of uh, the quality control of fabrics. Um, I all, when I saw this service in other companies, usually this function belongs to production because the normal company they think that if they have quality, quality problem. They have to solve the problem for the production. In my company, this sector belongs to the product. So they start working in with the designer for the research. And they do all the implementation of the research. They talk, they talk with the provider and everything. When we finish our job, they also do the quality control of the fabric that enter the company for the production. Why? Because they know exactly what ex was expected by us, not by the production people. With garment dyeing, one of the biggest problems is shrinkage, because we work at high temperature. Working in high temperature means two things, more than two, but two main things. One, we cannot use low quality fabric. With low quality fabric, we will cook them. 
Second, we cannot use low quality stitching. If we use low quality stitching, we will melt during the yin. The problem of the shrinkage is very important. As I told you before, for the color, also the fabric has the same problem. In this day, you start the production of this, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, the temperature is 8 degrees, the humidity is, I don't know, then you arrive at the half of the row that is midday. Everything's changed. And you have arrived at the end of the row at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, everything changed. Because everything changed, the color will enter the fiber in a different way. So every time that the row enters the company for the production, we have to control. But we have to control the beginning, the half and the end, not only the... And we do also a um, small dye to see the shrinkage. As you know, one centimeter, centimeter change the sizing. And so, we have an average shrinkage of 17%. All the fabric. So there are fabric, the, sh the shrinkage is very low, or fabric, or process. Uh, do you remember the compact? 50%. So, the, the shrinkage was unbelievable. So, the blue that we do is I don't know. The blue of the other people is more flat. The blue, and I don't know if, because they, they, they put the, the, the color on a flat material. Because we put the, the color on, on a three-dimensional material. It's, it's already a jacket done. And the color is more deep, it's, more, it's different. And when you see two jackets, one is more pressed, and the other one is, <coughs> then I don't know if it's true, but this is what I see. <laughs> So here we, we have the last five years. All the fabric that entered the company in the last 35 years. Again, is an unbelievable place in which we can go and take ideas. Because perhaps there are some fabrics that we have developed 20 years ago. Or there are some fabrics that we have developed six years ago, we never knew. And now is the right moment. So this is another key uh, part of the, the company, because the quality control on one side gave us the opportunity to deliver high quality, on the other side gave me the opportunity not to do mistakes. Here's another part, because Nikola is a unique technology, and probably is the only one in the garment, in textile business, the only sector that still had a huge innovation in technology. So machines change quite often. So to me, it is important to stay uh, very clear on the new technology. So it's really a specific work. So all the network of the company is here. This is the sewing department. Let's say that is a small, very, very small production a factory, starting from the automatic cut for prototypes. This is state of the art. In Italy, this type of technology is owned by us and by Max Mara. And this is a special machine that works on the single piece. Gave us the opportunity of getting shorter the time of production of a prototype, one week. So we save one week, so we can produce more prototypes. Uh, it's totally automatic and change also the way of working of the pattern makers because they don't work any longer on paper but they work on on the screen then let's say we do 95 percent on the screen and five percent still in the old way in order to give a flexibility to the to the people working and it's better because sometimes it's too long to move by screen is better to move the old, the old way. So here we have the cutting, we cut prototype. Every sewing machine is a different technology. There is the pressing. So it's small, you have everything. The, what is interesting is this, this lady, they, they follow the garment in all the construction. So they keep the tagliato, the cut, 
and then they they built all the garment. Not with the prototypes, but when we start doing the Segreti Campionari, they do 16, and so they, they learn. If during the production, the subcontractor has a problem, 95% of the time, they solve the problem talking to him to the phone, telephone. Try to do this way. We change the machine from the spring summer sewing machine to the fall winter sewing machine. Because of course, because they have to sew different fabrics so that the technology is different. What is interesting, in my opinion, is for instance this big FAF machine is the thermo stitching machine. The cost is around 70,000 euro. So our subcontractors, they don't own the machine. So what we do, if we have to do the production or a thermo stitch garment, we send to him the, the garment already cut and the machine. And with the last garment, they give back the machine. So I don't have to change the provider because it doesn't have the technology. Because the, the quality is made by the hand of the people who work in the, in the factory. So I don't want to change the factory. So if they don't have the technology, we gave to them and they get back when it's finished the production. So let's say we work a lot with always with the same provider. Also because, again, stitching, as I told you before, uh, because of garment dyeing is really important. If we do a garment in cotton and then they do the stitching in polyester and you cannot see when it's white, you see when, once you dye. And then what you do is already done. So every subcontractor that we have cannot start the production chain if a gentleman from sponsor company is not there to press the button. So my people, my quality people will control everything and then they say, go. This is the product department. Right now, are still prototypes. We didn't know yet if they will enter next collection. So we saw more or less 80% of the company. So I must say that 80% of the company is working on prototypes. So here we are on pattern maker and sizing. If we find the garment here, means the garment entering the collection. And if we see a garment here, means that we will produce this garment. Why? Because all the prototypes till now we produce on one size. Here we start doing all the sizing. Sizing is one of the most expensive and long operation because it's very complicated. And for us it's even worse because of the, of the shrinkage. This is, if you want, the first type of production. The red is one size and the white is the, the other size. In the evening we gave the order to the machine and the machine start working because there are millions of possible combinations. So the machine worked all the night long and the morning gave to the gentleman the three best. Once that is ready, he gave to the machine a printing machine and the machine print the piece of paper that actually go on the fabric when we start the production. Every time I make a tour with my student, I ask where we are here, which is this department? This department is production. So, as I told you, you see a lot of places, as I told you, any chain can start if a gentleman from a sports or a company is not there to check. And so all the people is around, making quality control. As I said to you before, we don't like to change the, the subcontractors. So there is people that is working more than 25 years with this company. And Let's say we are bigger than them. And so we do for them also the planning of production. Because sometimes there are small individually family owned, small, and they have no organization. And so we do the, the planning, the production planning for them.
we don't do super things. We do step by step uh, our size, and I think that really season after season we try to do our best. Not being too, you know, we are a normal family owned company. Someone yesterday evening said to me, I don't sell uh, garment, I am a storyteller. And I think that this is one of the secrets. We are storytellers. Because thanks God we have story to tell. Yeah. And another thing, when we do the presentation of the book in London, I get a fantastic email. Uh, my name is John, I work with Paul. I don't know why Paul is crazy about Stone Island. I don't know why, but Paul is crazy. <laughs> and when you do the presentation of the book in London, you will, Paul will be in the shop. And this is his birthday. Can you do something special? And so I would like to do a gift, a special gift to my friend. And so I prepare a piece of uh, reflective fabric and they make the signature of the book. So at a certain point I have Paul and said, Paul, hey Paul, you work with John? Yes. Oh, so happy birthday. <laughs> and I, I make it on, on, the, on the fabric, a special uh, with my signature and everything. It was very it's happy. fantastic. This is a customer that will be loyal forever. <laughs> because it's, there is something special but between this, I think, is also because of the size of the company and probably the way that I feel doing my job. Because it's the best job in the world. It's fantastic.